Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to a DIY today. I was saying back to my channel. I don't know what this was. For some reason, I was channeling Laura DIY. Anyways, Lauren, sorry, Lauren DIY. Anyways, you guys, what's up and welcome back. I am Jules Juliet and on today's video, we're going to be doing a fall canvas on a budget because as you guys have seen on my previous videos, I went to go look for acrylic paint on a more inexpensive side because the paint that the person who I was looking at and also Sophia Nagar, Nagar? I think that's her name. She was also doing um, the pour over paint that ticked us was showing. Now, they're a little bit expensive. They're like $3.50 for the small ones and then they're like $8 for the big two. So I wanted to have a crap load of colors because I did not know what colors I wanted to use to begin with. So because I didn't know what color I didn't want to use, I started noticing that my thing was going to like 70, 80, 90. And I was like, I if this is a fail, I'm not spending 90 bucks on it. But as you guys see in the previous videos, I had had so good success. I bought a few that were fail of paint and the rest have been a success. Most of the paintings that I actually bought, they were a dollar, literally a dollar. The canvases that I purchased were $2 each because it came in a five set for 10 bucks and I ended up getting them at Ross, which actually I found some canvases. They're thinner. They're not a thick border. They're thin at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, you guys. There's a lot of things if you just look, take your time and look at the stuff. You'll find a lot of stuff at the Dollar Tree. A lot of stuff. It's just freaking crazy. Not the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by prepping our area. Now, because this is a larger canvas, I kind of wanted a half one because it's easier. But because we have a larger canvas, we're going to need to kind of have a setup here going on. Because we don't want our beautiful ottoman to go bye-bye. So after 30 minutes of trying to figure this out, we kind of got something going on. So let's get started on the canvas. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start mixing the paint. Now, my main stuff is that we need the paint and we need the water mixture. And it has to be watery, not too thick, not too thin. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start. This is yellow, yellow, you guys, like super yellow. So now we're going to go ahead and hit red. I'm going to mix the red a little bit with some brown because I kind of want like a, not a bright red, but not too dark of a red. So I don't want to add black in it. So we're going to go ahead and just open this up. We got our red consistency. Now we're going to go ahead and add some water to this. Okay, let's get to the pouring time. I'm scared I'm hopefully it doesn't go overboard because I don't want to clean up the mess. And I have a gray carpet, so it's going to be a no-no if it does happen. Ah, okay. All right, now, let's start pouring. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with white. We're going to go bold with orange.
Okay, now it is a moment. Okay. Oh, wait. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, you guys. Honestly, it was pretty satisfying seeing everything mixed. I felt that I was low on paint. I should have probably just filled up a little bit more. And you would see that one of the colors, I believe it was one of the yellow ones, was on the more watery side. The way that you could tell is when you're pouring it, when you're doing the pour method, you could see that if it does not lay on top and it goes all the way in, it's either you're pouring too hard or it's too watery. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ended up putting my hair on the paint which kind of damaged it on the side a little bit again I felt like I did not have enough paint but other than that I think it came out freaking dope and I can't wait to guys show you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe and I'll give you guys a room tour on the next video of me decorating my room fall vibes <laughs>